What is up everybody, Nessa here. Welcome back to Majora's Mask. Today, I think I'm going to start off this episode by showing you guys a secret that you may not have known about. But first things first, got to buy more bombs. I don't know how lucky we're going to get with bomb drops out in the... Out in the, uh, Termina Field. But for now, we're going to buy more bombs. And then we will be heading out into Termina Field so I can show you guys this little secret that you might not know about. I don't know how well this is documented. I have never really seen anybody talk about it outside of randomizers. But... There's this bird, and this bird, I mentioned this bird before, it flies around Termina Field, right? And it's just, it's flying, you can't lock onto it, it's, it doesn't have a target, but if you put on a mask, and you pull out the ocarina, uh, and you play a song that you learned, that goes with the corresponding mask that you are wearing, and you see this bird... He has a little cutscene, and then what happens is he, drops, he starts dropping rupees. And he will go around the entire place dropping rupees, and it's a pretty neat little secret. And the only reason that a lot of the people that play Randomizer even know that this exists is because there's an option in the Randomizer that randomizes all set rupee drops. So in a Randomizer, every single one of these rupees can be any item. So it gets absolutely crazy, but with that... We got another, like, 40 rupees or whatever. Now, we have some stuff that we need to take care of in Termina Field here. We're going to try not to get hit by these skulls. I think they're called bubbles. I always forget the name of them. First things first, we're going to head over here, and there's going to be a little hole in the ground. And if we enter this hole, <coughs> we're going to see oh, there's some weird, weird statues here, but one of them is bigger. And once again, we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to play the song. And the statue is going to go... And it'll turn green and go... And that's one out of four. So as you may be able to tell, there's another three that we need to find in Termina Field. Next one... <coughs> Ow, my throat. Heading over to, actually, this tree. No, there's no rupees in the tree right now. Now that we have the big spin attack, too, we can empty these grass patches much quicker, which I'm kind of hoping for a bomb drop here. I just want more bombs, but we're not getting it right now. At least we're getting rupees. So heading over here, back to Southern Swamp. The next hole that we're going to be taking a look at here is right uh it's actually on the other side of this grass patch i thought it was on this side for some reason right over here yes and we can enter and it's gonna be basically the exact same but there's out oh, there's a spider bro here now we have our enhanced spin attack actually we're just we're still just gonna run with the jab strategy it's safer oops didn't mean to do that but we'll take out this guy oh my my eyes my eyes and my brain. <laughs> uh, what is it? Wait, hold on. Man, I don't. Uh, wow, I must be like losing my mind. I'm forgetting the songs. I know all of these songs by heart. How am I gonna forget the songs? So, with that, two out of four have been transformed. But we need to take a. A small pit stop back to Southern Swamp because there is one thing that I forgot about last time. We have enough rupees now that I feel like now is probably the opportune moment to do this, and we're pretty close to it. So if we head back into the swamp path here, <coughs> I don't actually remember what this area is called. It's called Path to Southern Swamp. Pretty sure this is like the Path to Southern Swamp. You might have noticed that there is this offshoot path here that we completely ignored last time. So, swamp shooting gallery ahead. So, coming past these cool little trees, you can see there's this nice little area back here, which I actually love that there's like a little pond here with fish in it. Does this say something? Please feel free to take our fresh spring water home with you. Yep, so we can come up here and we'll uh, break these this guy's jars of plants. It's kind of cool that you can like come up here and there's a little grass with some rupees in it and everything, but heading on in. Oh! 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Okay, I guess we're not heading on in. So then we shall continue our endeavor with the secret holes, and we'll come back for this later on the next day. 
So with that, we are going to head back to Termina Field. I will meet you back there in just a second. So we're back here in front of the water side exit from Clock Town, and you might notice there's a rock over here. Well, I bought bombs for a reason. Whole reason is that we can toss a bomb at this rock here. And then we open up another hole, and inside this hole, you might have guessed based on what we're currently doing, we got another whole room full of these statues. <laughs> so we can once again play the song for the third time. And we'll have the same experience. We'll rotate all the ones that are already green. And we'll get the one that goes boom, boom. Righty. And we got one more to find. Now this one always stumped me because you have one in the the canyon area, you have one in the swamp area, you have this one, which is near the water, <coughs> but then you have another one down here by the water. At least I believe it's this one, I'm pretty sure it's this one. It, this was always like, oh, oh, okay, leave me alone please, I'm trying to go over here. Okay, well that works. That's not what I wanted to happen, but hey, they got me over the fence, so that's I'll take it. And this is not what I thought it was, huh. Uh... Uh, oh, you know what? There's like, I think there's something in one of these, but I, I can't go to the bottom of the water right now. Now, I could have swore that I'm not crazy. I'm pretty sure it's in the sand somewhere. I'm looking for another hole. I don't remember exactly where it is, though. Maybe I am stupid. Am I stupid, guys? Tell me I'm not stupid. Where's the last hole? Maybe I am, uh, dumb. Uh-oh, we're, we're gonna be looking for a hole here for a second. I guess I could just put on bunny hood instead of rolling. That's probably better. I don't think it needs bombs. I don't think it's in the snow area. You know what? I think I remember where it is. I think we... You know what? We're already committed to this. Let's go. No. Let's go back. It's faster, I think. I think it's, like, right... I think that... Yeah, see, see when I said that this one always threw me off... I knew it was for a reason, I didn't remember why, but now I remember that I'm pretty sure it's like... I'm pretty sure it's just over here somewhere. Am I crazy? It's not... It's not like right over here, is it? It's not this one, is it? Let's see, let's see. We'll, we'll see in a second, we'll see. It is this one, wow! So yeah, I could not. now I can understand why this one threw me off. It's right next to the other one. I, I, I think I think what I was confusing is I think the one that's up top by the beach should have been down in the sand somewhere. But with that, we've turned all of these fellas green. And by turning them green, we are rewarded with another piece of heart. If you guys haven't been able to tell, our major rewards in this game are pieces of hearts and... Uh... Masks. Masks is the word I'm looking for. But with that, thankfully, we are by the snowy area, so we will be heading into the snow place now. You might have seen, I don't know how much I've like briefly moved the camera past it, but coming up here, there is this little passageway and it's completely blocked by ice. Up here, take a look at this. I bet if you had a weapon that was strong enough, one shot for the move. Pierce right through this. Well, it might take two shots. So... We can aim our bow up to here, and wha-bam, drop the ice down, shatter all the ice, and open ourselves a path up to the snowy area, <clears throat> which is fantastic because this area is so cool. I I love snow areas in games. They're, it's very, I don't know, there's something about it. I hate ice physics, though, which is something I completely forgot is a thing in this area, but either way, we're climbing up this snowy pathway here. There's actually a new, there's a new Zelda ROM hack coming out called Zelda Indigo, I think it's called. And it has Link living up in a mountain like this. So it, it's something I think about every time I come through here now. Mountain village ahead. Beware of blizzards and deep snow. Gorons should be able to break the snow boulders easily. Gorons, eh? We'll be running into some Gorons up here. Our friends from back in Death Mountain in Ocarina of Time. We have reached the mountain village. As you can see, there's some rotating platforms. 
Everything's frozen. There's Goron there. He's frozen. He, she, we, frozen. You know what I mean? Like the, the movie. Frozen. But first things first, we have to head over here. We have to hit the statue at ASAP. That'll let us warp, which is fantastic. This this one's also a good one because it has bombs, magic, and arrows, which is good for us. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Up here, up here. I'm sorry to bother you for such a high place. But I'm very hungry. I've gotten stuck here. Okay, well, if I find any food for you, I will remember it. But for now, I believe this is not the path we want. Way to snowhead. We wear the slippery, yeah. So we want to go towards this way yeah i always get confused in this area i don't know why i feel like the path right next to the statue i feel like the statue should be like here <clears throat> but it is what it is we're heading this way over here we got some guys that are gonna pop out of the snow at us but we're not in really any fear of any of these enemies right now we have we have infinite everything so we're fine i'm gonna shoot down tingle yeah -ha -wa! Yes. <laughs> I always love that. It looks like he has a clock around his neck. It's I know I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a compass, but either way, Tingle says the same thing we've already read like four times. He will sell us a map of this area. Uh, Snowhead. Yeah, perfect. All right, and I think I think we already have the Romani Ranch one, right? We'll we'll try purchasing it just to be safe. Let's see. Let's see. Do we have Romani Ranch? Yeah, we already have it. Okay. So, continuing across, you'll see that there's this path. Oh! I can't believe I got iced. I just got iced. Uh, continuing across, now we have this much of the map unleashed, which is pretty cool. I love how you actually get to see the map expand by, like, getting maps rather than it just opening as you go through it. Ocarina, I, I mean, it doesn't. it's not that big of a deal, but it is what it is. So, the first thing we're going to do here, before anything else is head around head around we shall see this guy right over here oops hoot hoot we meet again fairy child have my stone statues been of help well it seems you may have the strength to change the fate of this land as i expected but the road ahead is even more challenging many trials await you please watch over these gorns around you our land is doomed to be smothered in snow and ice forever it will become a land where no living thing can survive Without courage and determination, you surely will collapse from the extreme conditions. But if that courage and determination burns bright within you, then that's another story. Will you proceed? Sure. Hoot toot, you are a child of many strengths. Well, perhaps you do have enough strength to change the fate of this mountain after all. I shall take to the air now, flying toward the shrine across the way, so follow behind me. Do not be daunted by appearance, instead let your feelings guide you. Are you ready? So... <clears throat> Because of Randomizer, I've had to do this without the assistance of the owl many times. So I have a gen- oh, my controller! My controller! What's going on? <laughs> my controller's not working! My controller, no! Please! Please work! What's going on? Okay, it's back. Quick! I think these fade away after a while. Alright. Yeah, and then left. And then right again. And then straight, and then straight. Easy peasy. Hoot hoot! I have certainly been assured of your courage and determination. From here on, you must not be fooled by appearances. You must rely on your feelings. Now enter the shrine. Something that will aid you in your quest lies in here. Use that item when returning from here. Now you might have a general idea, if you haven't played this game, but have played Ocarina of Time, of what this item will be. But as you can see, there's plenty of bombs in here. There's actually a bomb right above our head still. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Is it going to be like right where the item is? Oh, okay. You got the lens of truth. Gaze through it to see the mysteries that are invisible to the naked eye. Seeing the truth drains magic, of course. Now, one of these... I don't remember which one it is. It's one of them. I think it's this one. Uh... I guess it's this one. Is it? Yeah, one of them has a treasure chest in it. And inside this chest... Is more money. I like money, Mr. Krabs. <laughs> so we have the lens of truth now, which is pretty useful to us. But first things first, we need to make it across this platform. And then second thing, second, as you can see, there's this floating spirit here. 
Uh, speak. Can it be? Are you able to see me? If you truly can see me, then follow behind me. Now we shall follow him. I think we can just turn off the lens and follow the actual shadow. Oh, yeah. So we don't have to waste our magic, but we will follow behind him. I don't... I don't know how much we actually need to follow behind him, but I've always followed behind him, so... We'll just follow behind him just to be safe. Grab some stuff along the way. I like how Link slides so far. Oh, okay, whatever. We don't need to fight this guy. <coughs> Link slides so far with the bunny hood. It's insane. Oh my goodness. Wow, these guys have more than two health. That's crazy. Alright. Now this. He will stop, and then he will go through the door. Which will allow us to move into the next location. And right across the bridge. We'll meet with him once more. Now this time, I'm just going to take the smarter path. And just run across the ice here. As, ooh, as you can see, there's a treasure chest down below here. Interesting. Maybe we'll have to thaw this area out later. But we'll come over here. Oh, get destroyed by this guy. Oh my god! Kill him. Just kill him. Alright. Good. And our buddy should be coming here pretty soon. There he is. Yeah, you can see his shadow. Fine, I'll kill you too. What? He took a stab to the back and didn't die instantly? Wow, they gave enemies in this game way more health than an Ocarina of Time. I mean, way as in double. But I mean, the Tektite took three hits. Usually Tektite dies in one jump attack. But either way, we'll allow this guy to fly through this loading zone and we'll continue back into the little town area. And then we'll meet with him once more. And as you can see, he's going to start flying over towards this little waterfall area. What does this sign say? Deep water, Gorns beware. Gorns who can't swim shouldn't play near this. Okay. Oh, Link's so cool. As you can see, there's an invisible path here. I always thought this was really interesting because it's like... Uh, climbing this with magic and everything is kind of... It's kind of a little tight, but... I think I remember... I hope I remember. I'm pretty sure the path is... What? Uh, right, left, left? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I think I'm right. I hope I'm right. I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. We're gonna go left. Nope, it's right. It's right, left, right. <laughs> I should have I should have known something was wrong when I didn't feel it in my bones. You know what I'm saying? But with that, we have made it to the top, and uh, I think we beat the guy here. Should be here soon. Is he here? I don't. There he is. I was wondering, I was like, I don't see him, but he should be here, yep. What does this guy have to say? This is the grave where Goron Hero rests. I came here to put up the Great Hero's Memorial. But the return route has been blocked by snow, and I can't get back to the Goron Village. And even worse, my brother is frozen solid from the cold. The way things are looking, I'll be frozen too. Well, it's times like this that make me wish I had taken some of the hot spring water I found when I was digging the Hero's Grave. But the hot spring is now covered by the gravestone. I can't move the gravestone that big by myself. I guess, is the, I guess this is what's meant by the Goron saying, there's no use in crying over split rocks. <laughs> Alright. We will enter here. Now we will equip the ocarina. We'll equip this bottle. <coughs> take off the bunny hood. <coughs> and then heading over here. You can see the statue. It is written in letters that you have never seen before. But if we pull out our ocarina... Uh, actually... I think we need to put on the Lens of Truth here. Uh, this is not what I want. I want to talk to this man. Link! Talk! Okay. The Soaring One said that the one who could see me would be arriving soon. It seems that it turned out to be true. Ah, he can talk to the owl. That's interesting. I am Darmani the Third. The blood of the proud Goron heroes runs in me. This feels strange for me to say, but when I was alive, I was a renowned warrior and veteran. Yes, when I was alive. 
But alas, I am now dead. I was fine until I marched off to Snowhead by myself, hoping that I would drive off a demon. It had been wreaking havoc on Gorn Village, then the blizzard at Snowhead blew me into the valley, and now I am here. How infuriating. As I am, I can only watch as Gorn Village is slowly buried in ice. I may have died, but I cannot rest. So you can use magic. The Soaring One also said that you would be able to use it. I beg you, bring me back to life with your magic. If it is beyond your power, then I beg you to do this for me instead. Heal my sorrows, and any way that you can do it will suffice. Please heal my sorrows. That. We will play the Song of Healing to heal the sorrows of this dead Goron. Which, what a soothing melody. My sorrows are melting away into the song. Wow, I, I never read the dialogue that he... He went up to the snowhead and got blown off the path into the pit and died. That's such a tragic end, too, once you know what is blowing. Which we will see in a future episode, but... You can see Darmani. Respected and proud leader of the Gorons. Reminds me a lot of Darunia from Ocarina of Time. Pretty sure he's supposed to be, like, a parallel to Darunia from that game, but... <coughs> seeing a gray Goron is pretty cool, too. And then he... Gives our, his power to us. And with that, as you can probably tell, the mask is formed. And with this, I leave my undying feelings with you. The deeds I accomplish while living are carved on my grave. You should read it. We got the Goron Mask. This mask contains the spirit of the proud Goron hero. And just like the Deku Mask, it's a transformation mask. So, the Goron Village, I have asked your assistance. With that, guys, I think this is probably the perfect time to end this video. So, uh, if you'll catch me back here tomorrow, we got some shenanigans to do with Goron Link. But I'll end you with this. I'm going to down this potion, even though I'm at full health and full magic. And I will catch you guys back here tomorrow. So, make sure to drop a sub helped me out a lot channel uh, analytics youtube algorithm all that jazz you know and uh yeah i guess that's about it guys i'll see you back here tomorrow take care everybody